Power plants across the country are burning coal from Appalachia to supply energy. Over 500 mountaintops have already been destroyed. And if this process continues, this is what all of our mountains will look like eventually. You know, those mountains are beautiful. People from all across the country would come to see the gorgeous, deciduous forests of the east. You know, they don't have that out west. And instead of providing this beautiful natural area that can bring in tourists and a healthy, you know, healthy industry, they just, it's all coal and they're blowing up the mountains. And when they're all gone, they're not gonna have that option anymore. You know, if people around the country knew what was happening, if they saw these people in West Virginia who have their groundwater so polluted they can't even drink it, they can't shower in it, you've got little kids, two, three, four years old, dying of cancer. You know, if they knew that that was happening to their relatives, they would not be okay with that. Herschel Hanshoe is a fellow who lives in Perry County. Uh, I, I, I do take these tours around when we see people. I had a tour one day and uh, uh, Herschel, um, I knew I knew Herschel's uh, situation. The day we got there, the Kentucky Department of Water was coming because Herschel was complaining that he had methane gas in his water. I don't know if you've seen photos. It's been in National Geographic where someone can light their faucet because there's so much methane coming out of here. Eco-justice means that the less powerful should not bear a disproportionate share of the environmental harms that are out there. Coal, of course, around here in this area in southwest Virginia, eastern Kentucky, is a way of life. Uh, you know, I think as long as the, the federal government, uh, which they do, uh, you know, stays after the mining industry, makes sure they reclaim the land properly and such, I, I don't think we have any problems. I feel like we're not oppressed people. You know, we, we're thankful for the coal. We have good paying jobs because of it, uh, you know, and, and, and so we're moving forward. It's the same formula every one of these little towns they go into. They take a little town, probably more sustainable than most other parts of the country, and they just ruin it. And it's ruining an entire culture of people that have been here for so long. I think we have to do our economics so everyone has enough in order to be more. We have to take that first step in trying to transition away from coal and it'll be hard but that's a sacrifice we have to make for our children and our children's children and every single other generation of people that are ever going to live on this earth. <laughs>